This is Beaming G, uh, I'm YBR, and let's go play some Beaming G. I said Beaming G twice, no, I said it three times. Let's go to, um, yeah, let's go to Corkscrew Mountain, that sounds good. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive this thing down Corkscrew Mountain. What is this thing? Well, you get a normal truck, and actually, to make it a little bit more interesting, or maybe better, I don't know if it's gonna, what it's going to do, but let's get the off-road edition of the truck, and then we go and put a 3,200-pound box in the bed of it. That's just over one and a half tons. That's heavy. I don't know how they managed to get it into the bed of the truck, but it's there. I don't know what the box is supposed to be. If you have any idea what it is, you could feel free to leave a comment. But I have no idea what that box is. Uh, but that's okay, because we're going to drive it. And what we're going to do is we're going to drive it down this hill. Not on the first try, though. The first try, I just want to show you how unstable this actually is. You might think, oh, please, how unstable could it be? Look at that. We're on three wheels, and I'm counter, -turn I'm counter steering just to keep it on the road. Look at how bouncy this thing is. Look at that, we op the tailgate opened up, I don't know why, but you see it's very easy to flip it. Look at this, we're just like all over the place, <laughs> not flipping it though. So it ain't going to be easy, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, like I said, I wasn't going to do it on that try, that try was just to show you how easy it can flip. Now I'm going to play a little smarter, take the turns a bit wider and swoopier, and hope it don't flip over. Watch, I'm going to flip over on the very first turn. You just watch. See, if I get in the inside of the turn like that, it can't flip as easy. Ha! Huh. It looks like I know what I'm doing almost. I don't, but I almost do. Got to turn careful. Oh, goodness. See, when you start to see a tip, you got to turn the other way no matter what. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. It's not falling, but this thing is tipping all over the place. Just like tip, 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 tip. Tip, 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 tip. No tipping. Three wheels. That's all I need is three wheels. If I get on two, I'm probably screwed. Maybe I should drive it like I'm trying to ride the rain gutters. I wonder if that would work. I'm probably just going to flip over by trying this, but let's see what happens. Oh, that actually worked. No, it didn't. That was a bad idea, wasn't it? Goodbye, truck. You know, that package stays secured to the truck pretty well, don't it? Let's go ahead and bring it back up here. Hello. Stop flying away. Who do you think you are flying away from me? So let's reset it right here. And let's go ahead and switch it from the off-road edition to the fr the rear-wheel drive uh, six-cylinder edition. And would you stop rolling away, you pain in the... Stay. Stay. Stop it. Bad. No. And then we put the box in it. So this one, look at that. It's so heavy, the tailgate already fell open. I think this one will be... Oh, goodness. I was about to say a little more stable. Now I'm second-guessing myself. But it's still drivable. So let's drive. But I'm thinking it would be... Yeah, it seems a little more stable like this. Less power, unfortunately, but... Downhill anyways. Don't need that much power. Definitely more stable like this. Using off-road edition is just dumb, but it's fun. It's fun if you want something that's gonna try to kill you every time you turn. I was just curious about stability, so I was kind of testing it far more than I should have if I wanted to actually keep it on the road. But yeah, I've come to the conclusion. Off-road edition is if you want something stupid that'll try to tip you over every moment. Normal edition if you want something that won't. Now here's something. What if we didn't have suspension in the back? Like, what if it just blew out entirely and there's no more of the uh, shocks or anything? No springs. No shocks. So it's probably just going to scrape, right? Look at that. I have made it dumber and dumber. Let's see, is there anything else I can remove? We just got wheels and brakes. That's all we need. Now it's going to bounce all over the place, probably. Oh goodness, this is a bad idea. Here we go.
Wow, that actually is working okay. Look at the way the, bo the box was bouncing. Did you see that? It was all bouncing back and forth. Let's see if I can get to do it again. Well, that might make it bounce, but that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Dummy. Crashing it like, oops. Trying to show you the box wiggles around and I crash it. You know, why don't we do that to both the front and the rear? Get it nice and low on both. So instead of coilovers, just go, go low, man. Sway bar can stay. I'm a nice guy. I can leave a sway bar. So now our truck's nice and low. Maximum grip. Just don't run into any speed bumps. Look at the box wiggling there. Did you see it? Look. It wiggles. I, I tried to show it. Hopefully you saw it because that's the last time I'm going to crash trying to show that the box wiggles. Probably. No, it is. I'm tired of crashing trying to say, look, look, the box is wiggling, and then crashing. As fun as it is, it's dumb. It's really dumb. You either saw it or you didn't. Now we're just going to drive it without crashing. Or with crashing, depending on what the suspension tells me to do. Because the suspension is in control. That's fine. That's fine. No, it's not. It's ruined. It's ruined. That never happened. What are you talking about? I didn't crash it. I am driving like garbage for this video, and I don't know why. Half of it is I'm trying to show something, and then I end up crashing. Half of it's I don't have suspension. Half of it's I just drive like garbage all the time, probably. And that's one and a half holes. And this weighs one, just about just over one and a half tons. That's a conspiracy theory or something, I think. Isn't that how they work? No, that's a coincidence. Same thing. Conspiracy theorists will tell you it's the same thing, at least. Is that how it works? I have no idea what I'm even talking about anymore. The good news is, the random talking about who knows what is distracting me enough to not flip over the truck. Because if I focus, I flip it over. If I just stay calm and cruise along, it doesn't flip over. It just bounces everywhere because I intentionally ruined the suspension setup. Alright, here's a question. If I brake hard enough... Uh, I was wondering if it would uh, dislodge the box. It's pretty hard to dislodge that box, though. Alright, let's go somewhere else. You see the box, you see how it attaches to the truck. Now the question is, how does the box get crushed? And there's one easy place to go for that. Brutal slope. You can see how this box get crushed real easy. Once it loads, of course, we gotta wait a minute for it. There we go, okay. So, we use the stock version. Oh yeah, there's another box that's uh, only one ton, but it looks the same. And I figure for extra fun, use the heavy one. Hey, that's a rhyme. I just made a rhyme. Alright, here we go. So I don't know what the box will really do in this situation. I have not tried this before. Should be interesting enough. Box is wiggling. Trying to keep it in line. And let's watch the box. What box? The box is gone. It's a magic trick. The box got flat. That's the flattest one and a half tons I've ever seen. What if we try to convertibilize it? Does the same what happens to the box then? Or maybe I'll do a head-on crash as well just to see. Get a reset that's right here for my convenience. Carefully. And we're off. It's 
so this time we'll do a head-on crash and then we'll see what happens that way if the box still condenses down into nothing No slow-mo, unfortunately, because I don't know. Yep, the box condenses down, and that's like five tons of metal right there. At least, probably. I don't know how much the truck necessarily weighs, but yeah. That's a lot of metal. And we're off. Convertibilize this thing. And the box is good. Nah, it's ruined. Who am I kidding? I'm not gonna end the video there. I just wanted to crush the box. We got a couple more things I want to try to mess with, and then we'll then we'll end the video. So I'm wondering if we could go over like some of those um, suspension test areas with that box in a uh, the uh, truck. I'm wondering if it can. I, I have no idea if it can. Honestly, let's see. I know. Um, I know way over at the end of the list is Ultimate Testing, which has some of those, so we'll go there. I know the default one, or the, the, the grid map has it too, but I like the, the ones that Ultimate Testing are nice, so. We'll go there. I think they might even be the same, but I know uh, these ones are here. And I'm pretty sure the ones are, there are ones at grid map, but I'm not like as 100%. So, right off the bat, we're gonna just put on the big old, you know, I never mess with the half, the, whole, the one ton. Always go for the one and a half ton. That simple. All right, so let's do some uh, experimentation here. How's the suspension do with this in the back? Trying to go over these. Honestly, not bad. Seemed all right doing that. Oh, jeez. Hello, tree. I don't think it's going to be able to go over these next ones, though. Maybe if I put in the off-road trim, it might be able to. Oh, look at that. It's kind of making its way. No, it got stuck. So, yeah. Let's try the off-road trim. And the box, of course. Where are you going, car? Hold on. Hold on. All right. See how easy it is to tip it with the off-road trim, though. You see, it's tipping, man. Uh, uh, box is heavy. Not much I can tell you. It stops you. Got to use a uh, manual transmission to get through this, but we can get through it still with the box. The box is bouncing all over the place, though. It doesn't seem like no matter what I do, I can actually disconnect the box. It seems like it's always there. Like, whatever it con it's connected by, it's going to be connected forever. Even if I was to do something crazy like this. That was a bit too crazy, wasn't it? <laughs> well, maybe the box did disappear now. Oh, there's the box. Yeah, I ruined everything. It's that simple. I, I ruined everything. That's a simple conclusion you can come to. Although it is kind of fun to do that kind of crazy thing. Like if you just go into the map and reset a car, you ever done that? Go into the map, hit F7. And it's like, oh my goodness, every time. Go like super slow mo, do it then. Even in super slow mo, you can't really tell what happens. It's just, it's just a dismangled, disfigured mess instantly, basically. Watch. Look at this. Uh, oh, wait. Maybe you can see it. Oh, sheesh. That is as slow mo as slow mo gets right there. Look at this. This is right here. 
it's just a cloud of dirt and then yeah that's not related to the truck in any way it's just something fun to do all right so uh yeah i don't know why i did that so yeah, that's uh, that's the trailer for the tra or not trailer. It's the bed load for the truck. Adds a heavy weight for it to do things that need heavy weights. Basically, simulate just fun, um, a different thing that makes it kind of fun, basically. And um, we'll let it crash into the floor. And then until next time, this is YBR, and I'll see ya. One thing to note is it falls really fast with that bed load, actually, now that I see that. Anyways, I'll see you.